When the heavy bombers, B-17s and B-24s of the 8th Air Force, weren't being hit by German fighters, they were being blasted by German anti-aircraft guns. Their shells would explode at a predetermined altitude and fill the sky with razor-sharp chunks of steel, sort of like a giant hand grenade. It was known to the airmen by the abbreviation of the German word Flieger Abwehr Kanon, Flak. Flak would scare you to death. And you looked at it, and you know you couldn't deviate on your course. You knew you had to go through it. And you'd sit there, how in the world are we going to make it through there? You just had to sit there and grin and bear it, you know, sort of. Uh, swallow your heart sometimes. You got wounded at that altitude, you were in a lot of trouble because shock would set in. You might have five hours before you could get real medical attention. There were occasions when they felt a, a, an airman was so badly wounded, he'd never make it back. They just bundled him into a parachute and tossed him out of the airplane, hoping the Germans would give him medical treatment before they put him in a POW camp. You grow up rather quickly. You see all that stuff flying at you and hearing it come in the airplane or look up and see it coming through. You know that it's for real and it's, you know, it's dangerous business. I'm looking off to the side and here's this B-17. It's got a fire on the left wing. Some guys bailed out of it. I could see him dropping out. It just rolled over and spun on down and disappeared into the ground somewhere. It was a terrible feeling to see these airplanes going, particularly when you might not see more than one or two parachutes come out, you know. That's the bad part about it. And it's a terrible thing for me to even talk about. But, you know, you'd watch another airplane go down, and you might even say, you know, better thee than me. And that sort of got you through it. And even though that's a terrible thing, I know, but uh, that's the way it was. The terrible flak accounted for more losses than the German fighters. It's amazing that any planes made it through that curtain of steel. The survivors credit their safe return to a few things. Good luck, a good crew, and an incredible aircraft. The job of that lonely gunner in the ball turret would have been more dangerous, more of a suicide mission, had it not been for the legendary stamina of the B-17. I give credit to the B-17 for bringing me back alive. There were occasions when any other airplane took hits the way it took, wouldn't have brought us back. God love them. They'd bring you home when you didn't think you had a prayer, and they'd never let you down. When you see what the B-17 went through in combat and still make it back home, was a miracle to me. The men who returned counted their blessings, but they also counted the number of friends lost on the mission. <laughs>